bringing the people behind our food to life. I, I just can't emphasize how much we owe Dwayne Beck, but he came up with the forage uh, soybean and to plant in, in, in the corn. And so we had a spot that, we, that was uh, too wet to plant to, to uh, field peas. So we went in and we planted corn and we planted a forage soybean, a group seven bean. And, uh, and that's it. We planted the corn and we went out and planted the soybeans that same day, it just split the rows. And that uh, without any fertilizer, I mean, I'm not saying it's uh, outstanding corn, but it's, it's nice corn. I mean, we got 60, 70, 80 bushel corn without using any fertilizer off that test plot. The soybeans, they're froze now, but when we were out in the field today, you could actually pull them, them soybeans up and they were probably, oh, three to four foot tall. They were able to, to, to make nitrogen for themselves, but then also they, they, did, they made nitrogen for this corn. And I understand that this corn isn't planted real thick, and I'm not saying that this is, this is all the nitrogen you would need, but you might be able to cut down on your nitrogen a lot, especially if this was going to be a corn for cattle feed, where you could actually take the, the, the soybeans and the corn and chop them, even if you could save half your fertilizer bill, and then you'd still have the, the benefit of the, uh, the soybean feed and the corn feed. We're playing with this a little bit more all, all the time and it's just something we're really working on and something I think we need to look at in the future.